Directed line segment DE has endpoints D, negative 4, comma, negative 2, and E, 1, comma, 8. Point F divides DE such that DF to, D, to FE is 2 to 3. What are the coordinates of F? This is a classic geometry, uh, region's geometry question. So to answer this question, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot D and E on, not, not quite on a grid, but place them... Um, on a surface uh, relative to one another. So D is negative 4, comma, negative 2. I'm going to say D is going to be like right here. And E is going to be right here. So it is going to be to the right of D and uh, above it. And how I know that is because it's due to the X and Y coordinates there. right? 1 positive 1 is to the right of negative 4, and 8 is above negative 2. All right, so this question is actually a similar triangle question in disguise. And why I say that is because uh, what we can do to answer this question is create triangles, uh, or similar triangles out of it, and then um, with the similar triangles, we can then determine the appropriate proportions. So we need to identify point F, which is, I want to say it's like right there. I know it has to be closer towards point D than it is towards point E based on this proportion that we have here. So this is point F. And I don't know what is the length of uh, DF. I want to call that length there 2N, and I'm going to call the length of FE 3N. So therefore, the total length of this line is going to be 5n, right? I'm multiplying the ratio 2 to 3 by n because, well, I don't know exactly uh, what exactly um, to multiply the proportions by to get the exact um, length of those segments, okay? But I do know it has to be by some proportion, and it has to be the same for both 2 and for 3. All right, so what I'm going to do is now that I have that drawn, I'm also going to draw the horizontal and vertical components, okay, of line segment DE. And if I do that, I will have constructed a right triangle out of this situation. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drop a line down from F. And from this, we can see that we actually have two similar right triangles here. I have a smaller right triangle and a larger right triangle. So I don't know... Uh, Component-wise, I don't know how much to go over, and I don't know how much to go up to get to to go from D to F. I'm going to call those segments there X, and that segment there Y. What I do know is to go from D, the horizontal component, to go from D to E. And this segment here is going to be five because I'm taking one minus negative four. So that segment's going to be 5. The vertical, comp the vertical component will be 8 minus negative 2, which is 10. So because these two triangles are similar, I can then set up a proportion. Right? I can say x over 5. It will equal to y over 10. And all of this, okay, is also equal to the short hypotenuse, which is 2n, to the longer hypotenuse, larger hypotenuse, which is 5n. And notice what happens to the n's. The n's cancel, right? So I end up with x over 5 is equal to y over 10, which is equal to 2 fifths. All, all three of these proportions must hold because both triangles are similar. So now in order for me to solve for how, how much I'm going to move in the horizontal direction to go from D to, to F, I am going to take this proportion and solve for the unknown one at a time. I'm going to say X over 5 is equal to 2 over 5. The only way that this would work is if X is equal to 2. So I multiply 2 fifths by 5, so X is equal to 2. I'm going to take Y over 10. And again, set that equal to 2 fifths. And the only way that this would work 
is if I cross if I multiply both sides by 10 I end up with 20 over 5 or y is simply equal to 4. So from point D, okay, what am I, what's going to happen is from point D, I will need to move two units to the right. So it's negative 4 plus 2. And then from point D, I'm going to have to add four units up. So negative 2 plus 4. So the coordinate for point F will be negative 2 comma positive 2. So that's what that would be option two.